Thomas. The Dolphins will operate from the 10 yard line. Woodley with Nathan. Mr. Stevenson there at center as you look at the offensive line. First down, Woodley, 39 out of 7. At the sideline goes Tony Nathan. by Dennis Winston, number 56. Nathan catching his 15 pass of the year. They like to go to him. The defense New Orleans Saints, Jackson, Kovac. Weimer, Poe, Gary, and Watford. Jay, the Miami Dolphins today face a very good attacking football team. They have 20. Two, the Miami Dolphins. And of course, Don Shula trying to get the ball. Little screen pass, good start. Sure completion. And it looks like they're going to be short by everybody. A little bit. Defense is pretty much at the mercy of the offense here. Over Overstreet, number 20, comes in to replace Nathan. Overstreet did not run last week. There's Bum Phillips. A warm and wonderful man. Across from him, of course, Don Shula. 52 years old, a native of Painesville, Ohio. The man standing right behind him in the hat, Don Strzok, in the papers yesterday here in New Orleans. Woodley's problem throwing the football so far this season, Shula said he would be very, very anxious to go to Don Strzok if the offense struggled at all today. They're talking about Strzok being a short reliever and Marino a long reliever. Bennett and Overstreet in that backfield behind quarterback David Woodley. And out of the eye, the give goes to Overstreet, and he's got the first down. Four hundred twenty-six tickets to lift the blackout. General Manager Mike Corkin gave the tickets to the employees. They canceled the picnic, and they're here today. Handoff there to Nathan, and no gain on the play. And Dennis Winston, number fifty-six, came in there. Jay, all day you'll see the New Orleans Saints take chances. This is a defense that does not have a real clear-cut superstar. They try very much to disrupt the offense. You see Kovac, 52 on your right, Dennis Winston, 56 on your left, just trying to get up there at the line of scrimmage. And they do an excellent job of creating that split second of doubt in the offensive line. And the Saints, 12th on defense, 11th against the rush, 5th against the pass, second down and 10. Penalty marker goes down, looks like the left side of the Saints... We're offside, offside that one. Play there as Woodley tried to hit Overstreet. Good pass rushing by Clark and Kovac. But Clark was offside. He's the one who jumped prematurely. So it was a free play for Miami. Bob, 36 penalties against New Orleans. Some people say that Shula really knows how to work the officials. Well, there's a plus and a minus to those uh, penalties. We'll talk about it in a minute. Overstreet, the single setback behind David Woodley. And it goes to Overstreet, and he bangs it across the 31 yard line. Overstreet, who played at Oklahoma, met by Bruce Clark, number 75, a pickup of four on the play. The last of course, to the Miami Dolphins had trouble hanging on to the ball. Up front, Stevenson, Newman doing a good job. New Orleans Saints are good ball tacklers, and with the turnovers that Kansas City produced last week against the Miami Dolphins. Get a ball carrier. Here's Miami's ball carrier. It's going to have to protect the ball today. Seven turnovers. They lost five fumbles last season. Double fight to Rachel. 84. Bennett and Overstreet are in there. In motion goes Moore. The pitch back comes to Overstreet. First down and more. The tackle was made by Frank Watlett. The safety man, he had help from Johnny Poe, number 25. A sign wishing 
O.A. Bum Phillips, a happy birthday, as we mentioned. He was 60 last Thursday. He's 60 years young. Got an awful nice gift from the owner, too. Mr. Meekham bought him about a $20,000 saddle. He was sitting over a chair in his office yesterday when I was in the Saints camp. It has like a twelve or fifteen thousand dollars worth of silver in it. I asked him if he had a horse good enough to go into that saddle. He says, "No, I got by one." Mr. Meekham goes first class. Yes, he He's does. trying to get this ball club, of course, into contention. Mum Phillips has done quite a job here. First and ten from the thirty-nine, and Woodley with time now on the run, throwing long downfield, incomplete, intending it for Woody Bennett. The coverage, Dave Waymer, number 44 for the Saints. That was a de design play to go totally to the left. It looked like David Woodley was trying to roll out all by himself over there. Good job by the linebacker. Uh, you just can't see him right at the right of the screen. And Woodley, who is an excellent runner from down in this country, went to LSU. And, oh, that looks like a catch, Jay. That looks like a catch. Very close. We'll watch uh, Bennett come out of the backfield. With Andre Franklin, they really don't throw to their fullback very much. But Bennett is a young man with great hands. Weimer got his hand up there in front of Bennett. there as it was Overstreet who was trying to get a little yardage and the tackle was made by Waymer number 44. It's going to be third down and 11. He shared time at LSU and now calling his own plays from the shotgun. Mark Clayton is in there. An extra wide receiver. Over the middle and the pass poorly thrown behind the intended receiver Duriel Harris number 82. Woodley had his man but threw it behind him. As a head coach or a fan you hate to see that. You get the time, you got the pass protection, the receiver runs the right route and look at this. Thrown behind him. It would have been a first down too. Those are the things that, that Woodley has had problems with this year. Very talented player, but he just doesn't seem to have the anticipation to get the ball on target. There's the man who is set to receive the punt. And it'll be Reggie Roby. 18 punts, a 41 8 yard average, as long as 62. This fellow set an NCAA single season record in 81 with a 49.8 average. Look at him booming. Taken in at the 15 yard line, and immediately a fine play is made by Robert Sowell. Sowell number 45. The hang time 4.8 on that punt. Distance? We'll check the distance for you in just a moment. I'd say that's close to 60 yards. It was a boomer. 47 yards. That shows you how much I know about your yardage. Your addition is not bad, not bad. There's Stabler, of course, who'll do the quarterbacking with Wilson and Guy John. Scott, Groth, and Brenner. Brenner's a good target at tight end. Hill in the middle with the very talented Brad Edelman from Missouri. Afari, Obrey, and Brock. And right up the middle, they started off with Wayne Wilson. Wilson, who played at Little Shepherd College in West Virginia, averaging 3.5 per carry, stopped by Bob Baumhauer, the nose man number 73. Betters, Baumhauer, and Bo Camper up front for Miami. Rudzinski, Duet, Roan, and Bowser. Judson Small and the Blackwood Brothers, better known as the Bruise Brothers. Second down, seven. No score in the first quarter. The handoff this time to Wilson. Wilson has a first down as he got over the 25-yard line. The tackle was made by Bo Camper, 58, and Blackwood, 42. Hey, Wilson is a very interesting story. When George Rogers is healthy, Wilson is the fullback. He's the lead blocker primarily for George Rogers. When George Rogers is out, Wilson then becomes the running back. Last week, over 100 yards rushing against the Dallas Cowboys. A very, very versatile athlete. You don't find many people who can do that week in and week out. Stabler has completed 56.7. 59 out of 104 for 706 yards. Still hasn't thrown today as he calls on Wayne Wilson again. Wilson hit by Baumhauer number 73. That's Bob Kuchenberg, 67, 61. Roy Foster, offensive line of the Miami Dolphins. And a little encouragement from their offensive line coach. 
Try to get things straightened out as best they possibly can. Pick up a four on the last play. It'll be second down and six. Nine minutes to play in the first quarter. Stabler going to the air for the first time. The snake throws. Got a man. He's got eyes in the back of his head, it appears sometimes, and also great anticipation. He knows when a receiver is going to be open, and he's got such a quick release that you, it'd be very, very difficult to sack it. Pick up a 25 yards on the play. Lyle Blackwood made the tackle. First down at the Dolphin 44-yard line. Scratching his way through is Wayne Wilson, number 30 again, and now he is thrown all the way back. Baumhauer, 73, making the tackle. Let's look at what happened to this club last week. Leading 2019 in Texas Stadium. You'll see Stabler go back, and on your left, Dickerson. In there to sack Ken Stabler, 21-20 Dallas. They did an outstanding job. They sacked Danny White seven times last week. And the question is today, do they come back from a loss like that? I think yes. Without George Rogers, play Dallas that tough? This time, it is Bumble. fumbling up the sideline, and Miami gets the football. Right along the sideline. A.J. Dewey got the ball. There's Dewey, born here in New Orleans, went to school at LSU. Now, Jay, when Wilson coughs this ball up, I don't think he makes a lot of contact. He takes a hit. Whoa, it just lost it. Yeah. It looks like it just slipped right off his hip. 56 Bowser. Bowser on the hit, but he didn't hit the ball unless he got his hand around in front of Wilson. We could not see that. But Dewey on the recovery. And Miami gets good field position. We welcome those of you who've been watching the Cleveland Seattle action. With Bob Trumpy, this is Jay Randolph. And those of you who have been watching the Denver-Chicago game, here it's New Orleans and Miami. No score. First quarter. We've just had a turnover. The first of the game. The Saints fumbling, and here is Woodley on first down, throwing to the far sideline, completing it up at the 47-yard line to Duriel Harris. Harris, number 82, played at New Mexico State. That was his 200th and 60th career catch. Shea, you'll notice that the cornerbacks of the New Orleans Saints do play soft. They give a good eight or nine yard cushion. And one thing that Miami has always uh, been able to do is recognize things instantly. Don Shula standing there on the sideline. When Woodley goes over there to their new coach, Chuck Knox. Cleveland had won three in a row. Seattle 24 to nine. Chicago handled Denver at Wrigley Field. 31, or not Wrigley Field, I should say Soldier Field. Close enough, just down the street. <laughs> well, quite a ways down the street. 31 to 14. First down Miami. They have not so far been able to run the ball very well, but they've thrown the ball a couple of times pretty well. Don Shula, you saw him, a very successful coach over the years. Let's go to New York now and get an update from NFL 83. get to that in just a moment. Right now it is first and ten at the 48-yard line and there's activity at the line of scrimmage. It looked like Derlin Moore number 74, the nose man, and Dwight Stevenson, 57, got into it. Hey, coach, my number 74, defense. Derlin Moore called for encroachment. Now that'll drive defensive coaches crazy. Derlin Moore is lined up on the center. All he's got to do is look at the football and the coach tells him, look, when Pete Rosell moves, you move, not till then. Number 74, defense. Seven minutes, 18 seconds remaining in the first quarter. That's Wade Phillips, defensive coordinator. We got the only father and son combination coaching staff in the NFL here today. That's right. David Shula coaching the receivers for his dad. Woody Bennett, the single setback, first down, five at the 43. down at the 39. We've got an update from NFL 83 now on the Raiders and Washington action. Woodley wants to put it up, and he does. And he's got a first down. And carrying it all the way to the 31-yard line is Bruce Hardy. Hardy, number 84, getting his second catch of the season. Tackle made by Dennis Winston, 56, with help from Johnny Poe, number 25. Jay, so far, the deepest pattern they've thrown and completed has been about seven or eight yards. 
was a pickup of eight, just shy of the 30-yard line. 6-10 to go in the first quarter, and no score. The only turnover, the fumble, just a short time ago by Wilson, picked away by Dewey, and now we see Whitley's stats. He has driven his club down to the 31, first and 10. Jackson, the linebacker, number 57, that made the play. This defense is very impressive of the New Orleans Saints. They're very young, they're very aggressive, and they try to get on the line of scrimmage, get across that line of scrimmage to be disruptive as best they can. Ricky Jackson, one of 10 players from the Pittsburgh foot, uh, football team. Yeah, team going off the sideline. He's a running left tackle. Uh, Ricky Jackson of the Pitt Panthers, one of 10 players now starting in the NFL off the 1980 football team. Not a bad football team put together by Jackie Sherrill. John Giesler out of the game. Big number 79, number one draft choice five seasons ago. Cleveland Green, number 74, now at left tackle for Don Shula's golf. Second down and nine. Woodley is three out of five for 28 yards. He's going to the air here. And it is tucked away. A wonderful play over there by Johnny Cole. Cole number 25, four interceptions this season out of the University of Missouri. That was single coverage, too. New Orleans had a blitz. Cole had Serial Harris all by himself. This is an excellent play by young Mr. Poe. He just get his left hand in front of the ball. That's great recovery, and cornerbacks are oftentimes hung out to dry. Coaches like the recovery time. Five yards away, how fast they can get back to that receiver. Johnny Poe's got great recovery time. Joe Rose, number 80, is in the game. They can run from here, Jay. Out of the shotgun, third and eight. And they do run, and they mishandle it. And there's a pile up, and the Saints get it at the 33 yard. Hill 62, and the tackle for Miami. 
Number 56, Bowser, was there along with Lyle Blackwood, 42. And it is a first down, an eight-yard pickup, and the Saints now driving. We still have a scoreless game with 3.50 to go first quarter. Yeah, I think State was only thrown the ball once. That a completion to Hobie Brenner. Right in. Correct. Going Very wide to the right this time is Grove. Set to the left side is Scott. State now in his 14th year. Native of Foley, Alabama. Going to go now. And he throws. It's complete. At the 35-yard line, Wayne Wilson made the catch, and right there was Blackwood, Glenn Blackwood, number 47, only a pickup of two. Great catch, though. Good concentration on the football. There's Stabler's statistics for 83. Here's a man who's thrown 186 career touchdowns in Snake. You say he shouldn't even be playing. You're right. He doesn't have the legs to play, but he can still throw the football, and I, I swear he must have the best peripheral vision of any quarterback to ever play. And I also, also think he is, without question, the best competitor this game has ever seen in the last, at least the last 20 years. Pitch back coming. Wilson at the 30. Penalty marker goes down. Wilson driving down the sideline, got it near the 26-yard line. Bowser 56 and Blackwood 42 on the tackle. And we'll have a discussion. The headlinesman there is Leo Miles, Paul Bates, Bill O'Brien, Frank Sikovitz, Bama Glass, and Jim Kearney completing this crew, holding against the New Orleans Saints. San Diego Giants game. San Diego, Chuck Muncy's just scored. 545 of the first, leading 13 to nothing in that one. The Raiders and Washington. What a game they're having. Feisman to Joe Washington has just scored. 37-35 Washington. And here it's scoreless. That is Wilson. Interesting ball. Yeah, Wayne Wilson met by Doug Better, 75, and A.J. Dewey, number 77. Dewey changed his name on it. It, it used to be Dewey. Just Dewey. Yeah. Apparently, though, uh, the Cajun pronunciation is Dewey. Whatever he wants, we'll try to accommodate. Yeah. Yeah. Especially, when player. especially when you're looking right straight in the eye. Two invaders have already come in here and done a job on Louisiana clubs. LSU was beaten last night. And Tulane was beaten here last night by Vanderbilt. Third down and 15. Dolphins in a prevent defense. Stabler throwing down the sideline, and his intended receiver just couldn't get there. Jeff Grove. Grove out of Bowling Green. Coverage by Gerald Small, number 48. We'll see Russell Erksleben at this point in the game with 2-12 left first quarter. Well, Miami a big plus there. Their defense came up stout. Well, with the penalty to New Orleans Saints turnover, and they get no points. Erksleben is going to punt it. Erksleben is averaging 43.8. He set a record last season, 43% or 43 yards per punt. I mentioned he is going to punt it. You never know about Erksleben back there, Jay. He might take off. His longest punt this year has been 51 yards, and he's going for this near sideline. Kozlowski down there, and he falls on the ball right at about the 11-yard line. So that's where we will have Miami put it in play. We've got a timeout, 2.04, left to play in the first quarter. Here in the dome, it's scoreless for that Washington club. And, of course, they're the defending world champions. That's Joe Washington, too. What a player. Mm -hmm. Woodley has completed three of seven, 28 yards. Woody Bennett, the single setback. Hardy and Johnson, double tight end alignment. Miami deep in their own territory. And the give goes to Bennett. Bennett breaks out. Still going, gets near the 20-yard line. Stopped by Jim Kovach, number 52. Quite a story here. Woody Bennett injured much of his career, number 34, right there. Came to New Orleans to work with Boyer Co. at Body Masters in the winter of 79. Built himself up. He played at Miami. Of course, he was with Montreal and the Jets. And when he's right, he can make some things happen. Yeah, good blocking there by Duriel Harris, 82 on the corner man. Corner man rolled up in coverage to Johnny Bell. Daryl Harris took him out. I nice still lane for Woody Bennett to run. Second down and a long one. A minute and 20 to go in the first quarter. Bennett again. He's got the first down. He worked his way to the 23-yard line. He was met there by Kovach, 52. Jackson, 57, and Clark, 75. The offense, very, very basic. They want to control the line of scrimmage. Soften that defensive 
offensive line as best they possibly can. They go for Newman and Stevens in the center that can do it. Miami's just picked up their fifth first down. Tony Nathan, number 22, is the setback in there now behind Woodley. Woodley in a hurry, throwing up the sideline and overthrowing his intended receiver. Right along the sideline, he was trying to get to Nat Moore, 89. Dave Wehmer, number 44, had the coverage. I'd like to welcome those of you who have been watching the Raiders and Washington game. Boy, what a dandy victory for the Redskins as they pulled it out. This is Jay Randolph. Bob Trumpy is alongside. We're in the Dome, the Superdome in New Orleans. Saints in Miami are scoreless. 30 seconds left to go in the first quarter. David Overstreet now, the single setback. Street up to the 30-yard line, short of the first down. Overstreet met by Duran Moore, number 74. Here's the final score. Dallas pulled it out against Minnesota. Dallas coming from behind again, 37 to 24. Seven-yard pickup on the last play. It'll be third down and three. We have only eight seconds remaining to be played in this first quarter, and that's going to be it. Notice that John Geisler back in the lineup for the Miami Dolphins is left. Low starting team, not something that Don Shula really liked. Greg Stemrick is in the lineup in the secondary, number 27 for the New Orleans Saints. He was activated late this week. Here's an incomplete throw as they were trying to get it to Overstreet. He was banged by Russell Gary, number 20 over there. Pass protection so important for both of these football teams. Now when the Miami Dolphins go to the shotgun, they bring in Mark Dennard. He's the center of 63. Dwight Stevenson, 57. Generally, the center moves to left guard. And he does a decent job there in pass protection. That ball once again thrown behind the receiver. I'm not sure that uh, David Overstreet shouldn't have caught that, but still somewhat off the target. Here's the world's biggest punter. And Groth is back to receive. Roby's first punt was 47 yards. This one takes Groth back, and he calls for a fair catch at the 18-yard line. Well, that's where the Saints will put it in play. Roby's punt a moment ago, 50 yards. Both of his punts have been inside the 20. There is A.J. Douay, number 77. We'll isolate on him this play, see what happens. What A.J. doing? First down, handoff going to Pokey Gaijan. Gaijan who played at LSU. Tackle made by Brzezinski, 59. Adam Joseph Douay. You can see him as a linebacker there. He also has six spots that he'll line up in, and he creates real confusion for the offense. Must be identified in passing situations for proper line blocking by the New Orleans Saints. You don't want to turn him loose on a running back in a passing set. Pick up a four yards, second and six. Blitz by Dewey. Out it goes to Wilson. Wilson cuts it back and comes up short of the first down. It looked for a moment like he was going to get there, but a big play by Brzezinski, 59, and Dewey, 77. You can see the problem here. He comes in and blitzes. There's a man standing there waiting for him, but the screen, Dewey now playing linebacker. He knows what to do there. Excellent tackle here. Great arm strength by Brzezinski and Dewey. Third down and about a yard and a half to go. Dewey played his high school ball at Reserve, Louisiana. Godshaw High School, number one draft choice. down and two. Getting the call is Wilson. I don't believe he got the first down. It's going to be close. He's looking along the sideline to see if he got there. He needed to get near the 29-yard line. I noticed that the New Orleans Saints are choosing to run to their left. That is the side of Lafari and Edelman. And it's against Bo Camper. And Kim Bo Camper, since the Super Bowl last year, has really had his problems playing defensive end. He seems to have lost a little self-confidence, although he had a decent ball game either. Doug Betters is the other defensive end, and he is playing exceptional so far in this season. And it is a first down. Originally a number two draft choice back in 68. Stabler at the controls is going to go upstairs. Complete out at the 37 yard line. The catch made by Eugene Goodlow. Goodlow's quite a story, number 88. He might be the best wide receiver on this roster. He played at Kansas State. The tackle made by Dewey 
Play 77, a pickup of nine. Great speed he has, too. Great speed. A little underneath pattern by Goodlow. So far, the snake has not chosen to go very deep. Uh, he respects that pass rush ability of the Miami Dolphins. And he's one smart cookie. Looks like he got his hair cut, too. <laughs> a little bit, anyway. The give is to Wayne Wilson again, and Wilson is over the 40. It looks like he's got another first down. That's the Saints' fifth first down of this game. So far, the Saints are doing an outstanding job of controlling that line of scrimmage with Wayne Wilson and also George Rogers, even though he's not playing. We don't, the offensive line doesn't have to hold the block very long. There you see the center hill on Baumhauer, 73. And Edelman does an excellent job on Brzezinski. First down, New Orleans Saints. Kenny Duckett, number 83 in the game now for New Orleans. Again, it is Wilson. And Wilson almost gets another first down. Stan Brock, number 67, the right tackle, doing a good job. Due 77 again on the tackle. So far, the Miami Dolphins linebackers are simply overrunning the play, allowing Wayne Wilson to cut back. Now, you do want to pursue along the line of scrimmage, but you don't want to give that guy a cutback against the grain. And New Orleans has gained a lot of yards cutting back against the grain. Second and two. Mark Brown, 51, is now the right inside linebacker for Miami. Taking over for Ernest Roan. Wilson appears to have another first down. This is where the game is won and lost at the line of scrimmage. Double team on Baumhauer. Almost. And then the right guard on Brown. Number 51, but you still see Wilson picking up the first down. They're doing a fine job, Jay, up there. They are in a crack. And uh, when uh, Hill can handle the nose man by himself, then that 34 defense has got in trouble. Brown, the newcomer, 51, made the tackle with help from Brzezinski, 59. Wilson now 52 yards on 12 carries. Here's one that is overthrown. He was trying to get it to Kenny Duckett. Duckett, who is sneaky fast, number 83 out of Wake Forest. This telecast is presented by authority of the National Football League. It's intended for the private use of our audience and any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the New Orleans Saints and the NFL is prohibited. Good story, great inspiration. Kenny Duckett has diabetes. Takes two insulin injections a day, Jay. And um, this week he has had the flu. And when he gets the flu, he just got to shut down, rest up. But he's still out there playing. On second down, Stabler. Upstairs and complete. That's number 86, Grove. And Grove was brought down by Duay, number 77. That time, Duay, the linebacker on the inside, isolated there with Grove. And the game down to the 42-yard line. New Orleans Saints doing a lot of mixing it up. Nobody knows where the snake is going to go next. And as long as they get decent first down yardage, then you pretty much got the offense. You can run all the plays you got in the playbook. Now third and five, big conversion here for the Saints. Don Shula, 14th season of Miami, part owner and vice president of the club. Third down and five. Brzezinski, Stabler got away, rolls and throws, and incomplete, and they want to It's going to be called for interference against Lindsey Scott, number 80. Now, here's the situation. Once that quarterback runs out of the pocket, if there's contact and it's incidental, they're going to call pass interference. But you can chuck them again, although the ball was in the air at that time, and therefore it is pass interference. I'm sure that's the reason for the call. All right, should they have called quarterback in the grasp here on this play? No, I don't think so. All right. Pass interference. You got the call, Gerald Small, but I'm amazed at the snake's ability to get out of Brzezinski's tackle. That's not in the grasp, huh? Uh, obviously not, if they would have called it. Right. All right. Gerald Small got the call right there for the interference and the Saints. First down as they set up shop now at the 37-yard line. 9.40 to go. A scoreless game. We're in the second period. Right up the middle. That's Jimmy Rogers. The first time we've seen him this afternoon, number 41. Rogers. And only carried for nine. 5'10". Weighs about 190 pounds. That 
tryouts at Chicago and Edmonton latched on here. Second down and four. And here's Rodgers again. Very close to the first down at the 27-yard line. Bowser 56 and Mark Brown 51 on the tackle. As we told you, Brown is playing for Ernest Roan at the right inside linebacker spot. Have they featured the left side of their offense today or not, Jerry? That's the only place they go. You see 47 Glenn Blackwood up there to support it right. And the pursuit is supposed to catch up uh, with that ball carrier before he gets across the line of scrimmage. Another measurement for a first down. Saints offense, I think, off their performance last week against Dallas. Very much inspired. They're doing it without George Rogers, although he may play. They'll stretch it out, and it is a first down. This big crowd likes what they see. The Saints controlling the football, beating Shula at the moment at his own game. You're right, and Miami may have to go to the four-man front with a little more regularity than they have in the first quarter and a half that we've seen. You can give another pat on the back to the New Orleans Saints with that stat they just showed you. First down. 28-yard line. Wilson going out on the wing right. They give it to Wilson back the other way. Wilson's at the 20, the 18, down to the 17-yard line. Kelvin Clark, number 78, a nice block in the line for the Saints. Mark Brown, 51, made the tackle. Interesting call, an old college play. They put Wilson up on the wing, and it influences everybody. But, uh, you can see the defensive lineman fighting against the Rock Bowser. He really got blocked by, I believe that's Brock, 78. Does an excellent job. Another first down for the New Orleans Saints. That was Kelvin Clark, I believe. Me. You're right. 12-yard pickup. That's <laughs> all right. All right, now the Saints. Deepest penetration of either club. They're at the 16-yard line. Stabler, quick toss. And touchdown, Tyrone Young! First pass of the season for the rookie free agent from Florida, Tyrone Young. He blocked the PAT at Dallas.
Tony Nathan. Nathan gets it out near the 30-yard line before Dave Weimer, number 44, the corner man, makes the tackle. David Woodley out of LSU. A cool customer, eight-round draft pick from Shreveport. That area, of course, turned out fellows like Bradshaw and Ferguson also. Six-yard pickup on the play. So Overstreet come in with a play from the bench, number 20. Overstreet and Bennett in the backfield, 20 and 34. It'll be second down, four. Wide receiver set to the left side. And getting the call is Woody Bennett. Bob Nairn, number 55, on the tackle next Sunday. Join our good friend Lynn Berman as NFL 83 will kick off week six. Stay tuned. We've got some exciting regional action. The Jets take on the Browns. Buffalo's at Miami. Denver at Houston. New England at Baltimore. And Seattle at San Diego. Check your local listings for the game and time in your area. I cannot remember a half play when there were more measurements for first down. This is about the seventh or eighth time the officials have brought the uh, markers out. And here they come one more time. Jerry Seaman, the veteran referee, and his crew handling this and first down. Got six minutes and 29 seconds left to play in the first half, and the Saints lead at 7-0. 16-yard pass play from Stapler to Tyrone Young. There's the first downs. Don Shula. Don, who went to school at John Carroll in Cleveland, a defensive back with Cleveland, the Colts and the Skins. Double tight end alignment now for Miami with Nathan, the single setback. First and ten from the 34-yard line. Reverse. And a reverse. Jerry O'Hara gets away from one man, but can't make much out of it. Well, the Saints did an excellent job of reading that one. Reggie Lewis, 98, came across. Also, an excellent job by Waymer, number 44. San Diego leading the Giants 13-3 as we look at this again. No gain on the play. A lot of work there and nothing <laughs> really happening. Saints have played very, very well so far. Ali Haji Sheik has just kicked a 20-yard field goal to get the Giants in it. They have eight minutes to play in the second period. Here we have five minutes left in the second period. Three wide receivers, Harris, Duper, and Moore in there. And a long throw down the near sideline, incomplete as he was trying to get it to Mark Duper. Duper, who played at Northwest Louisiana, they call him Super Duper. He's from Pineville, Louisiana. Strong safety blitz by New Orleans. Pretty much had their way with Miami so far. They have been able to guess what Miami has in mind and put the right defense out there on the field. That time, the safety blitz, and wouldn't have had to get the ball off in a hurry. You'll remember earlier we mentioned that Martin Brown was playing the inside linebacker spot for Roan, for the Dolphins. Roan has some rib injuries. He's been taken for precautionary x-rays. Third down and ten. Shotgun. Woodley going long downfield, and Rose is the man who was intended for. Here comes Johnny Poe back with it. Poe still on his feet, up to the 38-yard line. Johnny Poe's fifth interception of this season. yards on 14 carries. He's met by Brudzinski, number 59. A 
gain of about two on the play. Stapler is six out of eight, 60 yards and a touchdown. Uh, Jay, one of the most important statistics nowadays in the game is average first down yardage. And the Saints, 5.7. Very impressive against this defense. Coming into this game, Miami number one in the NFL. got a nice block from Tim Wilson. Tim Wilson out of Maryland. You know what Campbell always said about him. He did a heck of a job. He does it here, too. The Wilsons combining. The thing I like about this play is that Ken Stabler runs back to Wayne Wilson and gives him the football. He's got about seven yards behind the line of scrimmage before he gets to the line of scrimmage. Look at it, 78 yards and a half. That's very unusual against the Miami defense. First down, they picked up 12 on the play. The Saints have run the ball nine times on first down and now thrown the ball five times on first down. That an incomplete pass as it was intended for 86, Jeff Groth. Judson, 49 on the coverage. Clock stopped with three minutes and 41 seconds left to play in the first half. The Saints lead it 7 to nothing. Scott, Eugene Goodlow, and Jeff Groth all in there now, wide receivers. Miami with five defensive backs now. Second down and 10. And the problem, as the handoff went to Tim Wilson, he had a little trouble, lost his footing, went down at the 45, and Brown 51, and Judson 49 make tackle. Let's pause briefly for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. This is WGSU TV6, New Orleans. With Bob Trumpy, this is Jay Randolph, as they look like they're getting somebody ready along those sidelines. Our right. score seven nothing. Miami now with six defensive backs. Jay, they got four men up front, two a one of them, one linebacker, and six defensive backs. And they put in Kozlowski and Langford, and the pass is incomplete at the 40-yard line, intended for Wayne Wilson, Lyle Blackwood, right there, a close call, incomplete pass. 2:58 left in the first half. Now the big question is, who do the Dolphins come back with uh, at quarterback? Rams over Detroit, 14 to three. Eric Dickerson has scored two touchdowns in that game. They have 3:30 left in the second quarter. Russell Erksleben, his last punt was 30 yards. Hunting time for the Saints, who lead it seven to nothing. He's got a slightly full hamstring, but he said, "I'm still the best punter this team has hurt." <laughs> Pretty strong, pretty strong. Downfield, Mark Clayton, the wide receiver, set to receive. The kick angled to the far sideline. A fair catch is called for, and it's gathered in over there at the 17-yard line by Kozlowski, number 40. We'll take a timeout. Here in the New Orleans Superdome, the Saints, 7-0. on his own effort. Dennis Winston, number 56, made the stop. Woodley, 4 out of 12, 34 yards, 1 interception. And taking over for him is Marino. There's the total yardage. You can see the Saints are putting it on him at the moment. Marino, the number one draft choice, wearing number 13, classic drop back passer. 11 of 17 for 90 yards, 64%, two touchdowns, no interceptions. He's never been Nathan got a first down near the 30-yard line. Russell Gary, number 20, making the tackle, and we're going to get the two-minute warning right here. This Two minutes to play. Half. Yes, it's moved right along. Of course, they run the ball a great deal. It's seven nothing. Saints leading Miami as the two clubs are given the two-minute warning here in the dome. We have been told by the Miami PR man Chip Namius that uh, Don Shula will now call the play for Dan Marino. At halftime, NFL 83. You saw that San Diego score. They lead the Giants here at 7-0 Saints. Marino throws, and it is 
flagged out. Going to be pass interference. It'll be charged against Jim Kovach, number 52, as the pass was intended for Hardy, the tight end, number 84. And Kovach, the big guy from Kentucky, he was called for interference. There's also another penalty flag over here on the near sideline. So you see referee Jerry Seaman indicating that the call is going to go against New Orleans. There is Mr. Seaman and his group. Bama Glass, what a great name that is. Pass interference. Defense. First down. First down at the 34-yard line. Definitely that Marino is not calling his own plays. He's getting the word from the sidelines. He throws. It's complete up at the 42-yard line. The catch made by Tony Nathan, and he got it across the 45. Clock running. No huddle. Winston, 56, and Bo, 25 on the tackle. Reggie Lewis, 98, and Frank Warren, 73, are now at the ends, replacing Clark and Wilkes. 13-yard pickup. A minute and a half to play in the first half. Marino fires downfield, and it's another first down as Bruce Hardy took it inside the 40-yard line to the 39-yard line, and now Miami calls timeout with 1.23 remaining in this, the first half. We'll take timeout. Same stuff, Miami nothing. One company provides cars and trucks to satisfy the wants and needs of virtually every man and woman in the USA. That's today's Chevrolet. One company puts some of the world's most advanced manufacturing and design facilities to work for America. That's today's Chevrolet. America, you're on the move again. And Chevrolet is providing your wheel. And you. Billy Ray Perkins, for one brief moment, played left field in the majors. Looks like a stroll like night. Looks like a stroll like night. Looks like a stroll like night. When things are going Stroll like a great tasting beer that doesn't fill you up. Looks like a great Undefeated knockout artist John Collins battles tough Tony Simpson. Then powerful women attack the bars. And the Gold Cup Unlimited Hydroplane Race. Boxing, barbells, and boats. All on the season premiere of NBC Sports World. Minute 23 to play in the first half. First and 10. Miami at the Saints 37. Two timeouts remaining for Miami. Saints staying rather standard. They still have the... 3-4 defense with four defensive backs in there. And Marino calls on Nathan, and Nathan is inside the 30 and has a first down at the 27-yard line. The clock running with 1-15. Ricky Jackson, number 57 on the tackle. That prevent attitude. Everybody's trying to keep those receivers in front of them. Playing rather soft up front. Marino may have called an audible. Split. And he throws, and it is. there on the coverage, but Duriel Harris had a catchable ball, number 82. Audible at the line of scrimmage. You could hear Dan Marino yelling it. It looked like just a simple plant pattern into Duriel Harris. That ball should have been caught. Look at him. There's nine guys up there at the line of scrimmage. Nine guys coming. Thrown slightly behind him, but you're right. That's a catchable ball. Harris makes that catch. He might have been able to step away and go all the way. If the money, if the ball is on target. Yeah. Right in the numbers. Right. You're right. That's it. Wide to the right goes Mark Duper. More to the left side. Eddie Hill, number 31, is in there. They're in the shotgun. Second and 10 at the 26. The throw is... It was Tony Nathan. And again, a very catchable ball. It was Russell Gary, number 20, who had the coverage over there. The clock stopped now with 52 seconds remaining to be played. It'll be third and 10 on the 26. Uh, if you folks will remember when Marino played at Pittsburgh, Great deal of difficulty throwing the ball in a tight spiral. There, it appeared that he wanted to put a little more zip on the ball out to Nathan, and the ball got out around. It's very tough to catch at that point. Of course, being former receiver, I was going to take the 
side. There's there. an old tight end talking, folks. Three wide receivers in the game. Out of the shotgun they go. Marino throwing down the middle, and it's tapped away. Russell Gary, number 20. Fine job by the gentleman from Nebraska in his third year. Seven guys back in coverage. Good pressure, although the offensive line does an excellent job of keeping him out. And you can see Russell Gary is five yards in front of the intended receiver, Nat Moore. I would say that Miami Dolphins are very fortunate that it ended up in an interception. Kuchenberg is in the center. Remember, they mishandled one of these earlier. Strock will hold. Von Schaumann from 45 yards out. Uva Von Schaumann misses. Wide to the left from 45. The impressive thing is, that's just the second scoring opportunity Miami has had in this half. New Orleans is playing very well. They lead it 7 nothing. Three timeouts left for the Saints. Let's see if they're just going to sit on this lead right now. They have two tight ends in there. Brenner 85, Tice 82. The handoff going to Wayne Wilson, number 30. He got it across the 30-yard line. Better 75 and Mark Brown 51 making the tackle. At halftime, NFL 83 will be bringing you up to date on the activities around the National Football League. 20 seconds remaining to be played in this first half. There's Bum Phillips, a good old boy who's brought them together down here. You're right. One of those people that make the players play better than they really are. With that carry, I think Wilson's now close to uh, 90 yards in the first half. Very impressive performance. I keep repeating that, but you, you can't discount the way New Orleans has played here in this first half, both offensively and defensively. Plus, they, they get the ball coming out to start the second half off to. The end of the first half. The New Orleans Saints lead the Miami Dolphins 7 to nothing here in the Superdome. Halftime activities coming up in a moment. The second half here in the Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana. A sellout crowd watching the Saints and the Miami Dolphins in action. Hey, first half stats, very revealing. Look at that 101 yards rushing. The Dolphins coming into this ball game had allowed 107 per game through the first four. And Wayne Wilson has 85 of that 101 yards total rushing. Everything else is pretty misleading. The time of possession, uh, turnover. Miami, of course, the number one defensive unit in the entire NFL. Third in the AFC against the rush. First in the NFL against the pass. And New Orleans starts the second half with the ball and seven points on the scoreboard. Ron Shaman will put it in play. Wilson, that's Wayne Wilson and Kenny Duckett are back to receive. Mr. Wayne Wilson, a very busy man for New Orleans. Not only carried it 16 times, now he turns the second half kickoff. No. And that was Duckett who took it in and downed it. Well, it'll come out to the 20-yard line. And the Saints will have Ken Stabler quarterback with Wayne Wilson and Hokey Guy John. Jeff Grove, 86. Eugene Goodlow, 88, the wide receivers. Hobie Brenner, 85, is the tight end. They've got Hill with Obre and Edelman, Afari and Brock. We'll see the adjustments the Miami defense makes now in this third quarter. Through four games, they've allowed just seven points in the third quarter. And with Bill Arnsbarger, you bet they'll generally come up with something. Let's see if we see a change at the outset. No, still a three-man front. Setter, Baumhauer, Cole Camper. Both wide receivers set to the right side. They give it to Wilson, and Wilson cracks out, doing an excellent job to the 27-yard line. Bo Camper, 58, and Blackwood, 42, on the tackle. New Orleans has, won, has run primarily to the left-hand side of their offense, to the right of the Miami defense, and on that particular case, just four tackling. Seven yards on the play. The Saints. John Hill, the center, a 12-year veteran. Edelman, just a second-year man from Missouri. O'Bray from Oklahoma, second-year man. Brock in his fourth year. Lavari in his seventh. Up the middle, Wayne Wilson again. Very close to the first down. The stop was made. 
by Doug Betters, number 75. Bob Baumhauer, 73 in there. Betters leading the AFC in sacks with eight. It is a first down. The Dolphins have Betters, 75, and Camper 58 at the ends. Dewey and Mark Brown, 51, on the inside. And Brown is playing for the injured Ernest Rome. Baumhauer is the nose man. The corners are Judson and Small, and Blackwood and Blackwood. Lyle and Glenn are at the safety spot. Stabler on first down. Throw is complete. Turning it back up the other way is Brenner. The tight end all the way out to the 38-yard line. Glenn Blackwood, 47 on the tackle. You know, some people would call that second effort. I think it's better called continuous effort. Very good point, you. Yes, and uh, Stabler always liked those tight ends. For uh, Miami fans, you're looking at a very confused Miami defense, which is not something you see very often uh, of the Miami defense. The last time they allowed a running back 100 yards rushing in a regular season game was a couple of weeks ago against the Los Angeles Raiders, and that's the game that Miami lost and looked very bad doing it. Well, Wilson is about to go over 100 yards today. Rose and Goodlow again were set to the right side, and they bang Wilson right up the middle across the 40. He gets it to the 42. Bob Baumhauer, 73, the nose man on the tackle. There is Stabler, the snake. Has not been sacked this afternoon. Came close to getting him one time. He's been sacked nine times. It is a first down. Wilson has gained 99 yards on 19 carries. There is Wilson out of Little Shepherd College in West Virginia. This will be his second week in a row gaining 100 yards, and he's a replacement for George Rogers. And there he goes again. Penalty flag thrown in there. We might have a holding call as Wilson again got the ball, and he darted up to the 45-yard line. Wayne Wilson. Running into the kicker, automatic first down. Jim Jensen. Jensen, the quarterback who plays on the specialty unit, a 55 yard punt, but they're going to bring it all back. There you see the flag being picked up by our referee, Jerry Seaman. Thanks for bearing with us along the line, folks, until we got our picture back. Here you see it. Jensen is not clocked into the punter. You see he leaves his feet, which is the big mistake. Runs in there, Flavor. Running into the kicker, number 11, defense, first down. So the call goes against Jensen, the number 11 pick. He was a quarterback at Boston University, played on the special team. 7 to nothing, New Orleans, 7-12 to go in the third quarter. With Bob Trumpy, Jay Randolph. Here are the Saints from their own 35-yard line. Stabler completes it at the 45 on a comebacker, being whipped down very quickly, Lindsey Scott, as Gerald Small made the tackle. Once again, Lindsey Scott coming back with the football. The Miami cornerbacks now are playing very, very soft. And Lindsey Scott goes down 14 yards, comes back to about nine, and the snake puts it on the money. George Rogers, we have not seen yet today. Still suffering from a bad knee. Practice this week. They said he was expected to play. We want to welcome our own viewers back to us. Nice to have them with us now as we have our, our pictures back. You didn't miss any scoring or any real important activity while we look at the problem. Here is the gift to Jimmy Rogers. Rogers, although he has played sparingly today, when he got the call. Pokey Guy John doing a nice job on the block there. Number 46, Baumhauer 73, and Blackwood 47 on the tackle. Again, they continue to run to the left. Their left, the defensive right to the Miami Dolphins, and, and the Dolphins got to come up with something else. They got to stop these guys. The defense has been on the field now in the second half for most of the second half. Bill Barnett is into the game. Look at that. He replaces Bo Camper as they've gone now to an extra defensive lineman in there. First and ten at midfield. Stabler. He 
you could look at about three different receivers. Duckett got between the defensive backs and the linebackers, and they were rushing three men, therefore had eight back in coverage. Look at he pump that thing. He's behind the linebackers and in front of the defensive backs, and Miami defensively has not played well today at all. Stabler gives it off, and riding through is Jimmy Rogers again. He's to the 20-yard line, or just shy of the 20-yard line. Yeah, you mentioned that Barnett is now a defensive left end for the Miami Dolphins. He's not an extra defensive end. And apparently, finally caught on that New Orleans thinks that Bo Camper is the weak link, and they're going to keep running at him. Therefore, they bring Barnett in. Here comes Bo Camper back in now. Barnett made that last tackle along with Mark Brown, and it is Bo Camper back in and Barnett out. Apparently, they saw something, wanted to talk it over. So it is second down and eight at the 21-yard line. Saints leading 7-0, trying to get more. Backing up the middle goes Jimmy Rogers. Rogers turtling over defenders, getting to the 15-yard line. Mark Brown, 51, playing for the injured Ernest Rowe, made the tackle. You hate to point a finger at someone, but you see 64 LaFerry, offensive tackle against Bo Camper, 58. And Kim is, or Bo is his nickname, is not standing his ground so far today. Now they've got three wide receivers, Scott, Gross, and Duckett in there. Going wide to the right is Duckett. We've got Scott and Gross set to the left side. Third down and three at the 16. The handoff to Wayne Wilson. Wilson inside the 15-yard line, short of the first down. And the fans here really getting involved now. Are you doing a little coaching? They say, go, go, go. No, 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 no. You take the points here. You're up 7 nothing. That's right. Take the points. The way New Orleans defense has been playing today, there is no reason right now to take a chance. Put the points on the board. And the young kicker, Morton Anderson from Michigan State, six field goals out of nine attempts, as long as 42 yards. He's missed from 46 a couple of times, had one block. This one will be marked down at the 22, a 32-yarder. The kick is up, and it is good. So, the Saints increase their lead, back on three. Two minutes, 56 seconds, left to play in the third quarter. And the Saints are shutting out the Dolphins. It's 10 to nothing. the kickoff. Off Boomer. Anderson kicks it right on out of there. There he is. Young man from Michigan State. Miami will have it at their own 20 when we come back. Miami from their own 20 yard line. Marino in there at quarterback. Three out of seven, 26 yards. Woody Bennett, 34, is the single setback. Marino took over for David Woodley. It's coming, Jay. Play action, Marino over the middle, and it's complete. First down out over the 45-yard line to Bruce Hardy. Hardy right down the middle, a beautiful throw from Marino. And a first down, and Hardy is hurt. He really got blasted catching that football. Looked like a double rotation zone. Corners up, safety duck, and he pulled that 52 right on the play fake. And therefore, Rose goes, or Hardy goes right behind him. And you see one hit. He keeps going. Oh, he turned his knee or his ankle. Hopefully he's all right. This computer makes sure everything fits like it's supposed to. And when things fit right, they work right. They're going to love the way things fit. Miami nothing, third quarter. Watch this play. Lower left-hand side, 52, Jim Kovac. Now, this is inexperienced. Miami's only rushed the ball for 68 yards against Washington. He fights on the play face. Thinks it's a run. Then you see Hardy, 84, go right by him. The vulnerable spot of that double rotation zone is down through the middle. you got linebacker coverage on the tight end. The way this defense has played so far today by New Orleans, I'm rather surprised that Kovac would fight on that play pick game. Hardy going off. He's been replaced by Dan Johnson. Blake's 83 in there now with Mark Cooper, 85. Nathan and Bennett are the setbacks behind Marino. Receiver Frank Watlett, the man who broke up the play number 49. Good pressure by Bruce. 
is Clayton. He's down. Good job by Clayton, though, making sure that there's no interception on the play. Ball was kind of thrown up, had a nice little rainbow on it, and Clayton did the right thing. He couldn't catch it. Make sure the other guy can't catch it. We'd like to give you a quick demonstration of the IBM Display Writer Office System. It lets you type, edit, and file electronically. It points out misspelled words and the correct alternative. It can be used as a computer, and it can send information to whoever needs it. The IBM Display Writer helps you get your job done so quickly, it helps you look good. I was on the road with three more sales calls to make. It sure was a bad time for my muffler to go out. My old muffler was from Midas. I saw a bar in a Midas shop in the next town and showed them my guarantee. I'm in kind of a hurry. They honored it with no hassle and got the job done fast. When you count on your car like I do, it's great to be able to count on Midas. Thank you. 
Television Network. This is WDSU, TV 6, New Orleans. With Bob Trumpy, Jay Randolph at the Superdome. New Orleans 17 to nothing over Miami. It'll be second down and 11. Miami in a big hole, down 17 to nothing, late in the third quarter. Marino throwing, overthrowing, intending it for Nat Moore, the 10 year veteran from Florida. Dave Waymer had the coverage number 44. New Orleans has just got Miami's offense and their defense confused. That they haven't blitzed on New Orleans. They have had people in Marino's face and Woodley's face all day long. And when you've got plan A on defense working, they're going to stay with it. So far, it's resulted in a shutout. It resulted in a shutout. There is Tim Wilson right there. Tim Wilson with that group down there. All the running backs together. Three wide receivers in there. Randolph with Bob Trump 
happy, and the Saints shutting them out. This would be some victory for New Orleans if they get it here before this sellout crowd. Well, people here in New Orleans wondered what the loss last week to Dallas under the circumstances were due to this football team. Obviously, Bum Phillips has made believers out of these football players, and historically has been the way Bum Phillips coaches. They now believe in themselves, shutting out Miami 17 to nothing. No one could have expected that. First and 10 from the 36-yard line, and the handoff going to Wayne Wilson. Wilson was shaken up a little bit earlier. Back in there now. Wilson has gained 101 yards. Back on four. That's 105 yards on 21 carries for him. Stop was made over there by Doug Betters, number 75. What the Saints want to do now is run the football and run the clock a little bit with 13 minutes to play in this game. Look at that. Stabler is 11 of 17, 118 yards, one touchdown. And a handoff again to Wilson. Wilson to the 49-yard line. Dan Brock with a nice block. The number one draft choice from Colorado four seasons ago, number 67. Lionel Blackwood, 42, and William Judson, 49, on the tackle. Well, now the New Orleans Saints can just run it about anywhere that they want. One of the few times today, Jay, we've seen them run through their offensive right against Doug Betters, 10 yards on the carry. And the offensive line of the New Orleans Saints, they deserve the game ball today. They have played extraordinary football. We talked about that early on and in our meetings last night, how important it was to gain the line of scrimmage. And it's been the Saints that have done it. Again, it is Wayne Wilson. And Wilson is down to the 48-yard line. went down on his own over there, pickup of about three. I'm rather surprised that Miami hasn't, hasn't gone more with the four-man front. And this will be the second straight week that uh, Wayne Wilson has rushed for 100 yards last week against the vaunted doomsday defense of Dallas. It's the third 100-yard day of his career. And uh, this week against the NFL's number one defense. What will this team be like with George Rogers? this afternoon. Penalty marker goes down, and we'll wait to see who pulled who off. There was activity at the line of scrimmage. Again, Wayne Wilson getting the call. Number 75, Betters, with Lucinski, 59, on the tackle. Next week, the Saints will play the Falcons in Atlanta. The Dolphins will play Buffalo in the Orange Bowl next time. You can see the Miami players, their hands on hip. That defense has been out there on the field a long time today, especially in the second half. There's the flag, and let's get the call from Jerry Seaman, our referee. Illegal motion. Number 30, offense. Oh, one against Wilson. Illegal position. And leaning a little bit forward. He's out of the ball game. Goodlow, 88, Duckett, 83, two tight ends, Trenner, 85, and Tice, 82 in there, and Gajon is the single setback. The Dolphins are in a prevent defense, and the draw for it is Gajon, and Gajon is down to the 47-yard line. John Hill, the 12-year veteran center from Lehigh, with a good block there. Round 51, Brzezinski, 59, made the play. Stabler's going to be very conservative here. He's got a third down and about, uh, what, six or maybe seven. He's going to look for a delay pattern. He does not want to turn the ball over here to uh, give the Miami defense any momentum whatsoever. Clock running with 10 minutes and 50 seconds remaining to be played. The Saints shutting out Miami 17 to nothing. Stabler 11 of 17.
at the 41 yard line. Running situation. Uh, you mentioned Bum Phillips. He certainly has the respect of the players. They will go anywhere for him and do anything. They are convinced that he's right. They're going to take the five yard penalty here, and the five yards is probably not going to hurt New Orleans. Oh, they're going to kick it. Going to kick it now. Kicked it with one second left to the far sideline, and it is out of bounds. from the 
49-yard line. Marino over the middle. It's complete. That's Joe Rose, the tight end from California, number 80. And Glenn Red, 58, and Dennis Winston, 56. The inside linebackers on the tackle. How about all Miami's got in the form of a passing game today is to sink somebody underneath the linebackers of the New Orleans Saints. They've done an outstanding job in coverage. And coming into this football game, it was a defensive backfield that was somewhat suspect. They played well, they take plays, but they seem to blow coverages. Eddie Hill, number 31 in the game now with Nathan. Blitz again. And another completion to Rose. You know, they're going to give them that short pass over the middle sure. because there's 7 minutes and 25 seconds to play, and they'll let you gut it out a little short one at a time. That's no problem. Vernon Perry is in the game now. And he's coming out, and Gary is back in. Uh, John Chu is telling Dan Marino, call a play, call a play. Now, New Orleans is going to let him catch the ball in the middle, as you said. They want to keep him from going out of bounds. And time now is their ally. And Marino now goes to the far sideline and makes a fine throw over there to Mark Duper. Now, that's what they did not want to do. The prevent defense idea is don't let anybody get deeper than you are. Play aggressively back there. Make them catch the ball in the field of play. Now you can see the loose coverage on Duper. 57, Ricky, Ricky Jackson. The bottom of your screen is underneath. He's supposed to be out there in the passing lane to make sure that that ball cannot be completed and allow the receiver to get out of bounds. That's the idea of the prevent defense. Marino is 10 out of 20. Has thrown one interception. 132 yards. No flag. Here's a throw that is complete at the 10-yard line. It was Joe Rose again. Rose has excellent hands. And they got a win. was upset. Eddie Hill was moving, but Chula saying, look, no plays from the sideline. Call the play. Do it out there. Ball just shy of the 10-yard line. Six and a half to go in the game. Saints 17, Miami nothing. Wide to the right goes Matt Moore. Mark Duper is set to the left side. Marino trying to rally Miami. This looks like blitz. Nine guys at the line of scrimmage. And they beat the blitz and get the touchdown to Mark Duper. A beautiful call on Marino's part. The blitz was coming. And on the board with 6.16 to go, the Dolphins. Now that's an audible at the line of scrimmage. He sees all nine guys up there. Duper just gets inside Johnny Poe. One of the few mistakes Johnny Poe has made all day. The idea of that defense is if you're a cornerback, don't let that man in the middle. That's where our defense is vulnerable. Good ball, good call by Marino and an audible at the line of scrimmage. Duper from Natchitoches, Louisiana, played in Northwest Louisiana. His second touchdown of this season. The extra point. Uber Von Schaumann with Don Strock holding. We got an onside kick coming up. I'll bet you. Might be. Kick is up, and it is good. 6-16 remaining to be played, and it is 17-7. The Saints are leading it. Here a look again at how to beat the blitz. The blitz all the way. The vulnerable spot inside. Oh, allows Duper in there. Six points, Miami. 17-7. 6-16 to go. Von Schaumann to kick off. Will it be the onside variety? New Orleans thinks so, Jay. Colton Walker is the only man back. They've got all their specialty guys up front. Now he booms it. And he's going to go into the end zone and come out to the 20-yard line. Let's go for an update now to NFL 83 in New York. Thank you, Len Berman. I said just a moment ago, Colton Walker was back. That was not Colton Walker back, of course. There's the scoring drive. Ten-yard pass to Duper. The man who was back was Jimmy Rogers for the first time. All right, it's first down now for the Saints, and they want to run some of the clock again. And getting the call again is Wayne Wilson. He's had over 100 yards today, and Wilson gets a couple here before he's brought down by Baumhauer, 73, and Brown, 51. Shula's now asked his defense to do something they have not been able to do all day long, and that is stop the New Orleans Saints, turn the ball over in a hurry, either by punt or by interception or fumble recovery, give the offense another chance. Wilson has carried the ball 24 times this afternoon. That's Wayne Wilson. 
last time in Miami was shut out. You did the game, didn't you? 1982 in New England, 3-0. That was the snowplow game. Yeah. Bob Greasy and I worked that game, and it was it was quite an affair. <laughs> Off again goes to Wayne Wilson. Wilson, a free agent. He was the top offensive man in 82. Originally a number 12 draft choice. Better 75, Baumhauer 73. Five yard pickup, third and two. Just got a little shot of uh, Bill Arnsparger, assistant head coach of the Miami Dolphins, with a headset on the sideline. Very unusual to have Miami defense. There he is, calling the hand signals right in front of the Bowser. He's the guy that has designed this defense. And now four-man front for Miami. Got to stop him here. Third and two. And a delay, and they stop him. That didn't fool anybody. A little delay to Wayne Wilson, and a great job by number 70, Bill Barnett. Barnett in there, out of Nebraska. He's a late bloomer. Four-year man. Nurse Slavin will have to come on to punt. I said a four-man punt. Actually, that was a five-man punt by the Miami Dolphins. They realized the importance of shutting down that third-down conversion. Miami's got a chance to get their hands back on the ball. 4-20 left. 17-7 score. Final quarter. Russell Ertz Slavin, a number one draft pick, went to school at the University of Texas. Mark Clayton is back to receive the punt. I think he'd go after it here, Jay. Let's see what Miami does. Are they coming? They yeah. put on a lot of pressure. He just did get it away. Penalty marker down. Clayton at the 40, 45. Clayton still on his feet. Gets the block, gets to midfield, but all of this is going to be for naught. Because we're going to have a penalty. It's Jensen again, number 11. I think they're going to call the penalty on him. He and I have been shaking up pretty pretty good there. He and Mark Brown, number 51 of the Miami Dolphins, both made contact. Now, here's the mistake. Here's the mistake. Coaches will tell players time and time again. And when you rush the punter, we got a New Orleans player down on the field. There's Kurt Slavin, Jimmy Rogers. But Shula and all coaches tell their players trying to block a punt. You aim for a spot four yards in front of the punter. Don't aim at the punter. And what happens is, there's Roger, Jimmy Rogers. Uh, I think he got his bell rung. You'll watch both Jensen and 51 Brown go straight into the punter. Personal foul, running into the kicker, number 11, defense, first down. See, that's the mistake. you got to go across that punter's leg. That's the second running into the punter penalty that has been called on Jensen. What he's saying is they got blocked into it. Yeah. What the officials know and he doesn't is he got blocked into it by his own man. Now, you said earlier when that happened before that one of the problems was when you leave your feet, you're really vulnerable yep. in that situation. And you can't do that. Three minutes, 47 seconds left. And the Saints retain the football at their own 32-yard line. Coming out to the near sideline, Scott and Duckett, 80 and 83. Wayne Wilson again. We had mentioned at the top of this broadcast that we might see George Rogers. But no need to see George Rogers right. the way that Wilson and company have controlled this football. And a great deal of credit to Hill, Edelman, O'Bray, Brock, Lafari up front for the Saints this afternoon. Kansas City putting it on St. Louis in the fourth quarter. If you're Pump Phillips, Jay, now you got a real dilemma. What do you do? Do you keep Wayne Wilson and give him the ball back there when George Rogers comes back? Wayne Wilson's going to be a lead blocker for George Rogers. Another first down. I think they will be happy to have the problem. <laughs> but it is a dilemma. It is a dilemma. But there's O'Bray again with a fine block, 66. Bob will get it worked out. This is going to be some victory this afternoon for the Saints. Blackwood. Lyle and Blackwood Glenn making the play. It's a first down, and the clock showing 2.45, and we're counting. As we said at the top of the program, Bum Phillips, I'm going to see Saints fans that after six games, they'll be four and two. And they give you this game two and two, and they're 2.36 now from being three and two. Wilson, 136 yards on 28 carries, and here he goes again. 
make it about 138 or 39 yards on 29 carries as he was stopped by Emmett Tilly, 52, and Lyle Blackwood, 42. A pickup of four on the play, out to the 46-yard line, and a timeout now called by Miami with 2.21 left to play. You'll see them huddling there at the 45-yard line. I don't know what the meeting is about, but they're getting everything set for the final two minutes of play. Wayne Wilson now has 150 yards on 31 carries. A splendid afternoon for the young man who is now in his fifth season. Oh, look at that. 90 to 1. And an unbelievable statistic. Out of the huddle they come. The Saints leading at 17 to 7. 120 seconds to play. Second and eight. And who's got the ball? Who else but Wayne Wilson? Wilson piled up by 2A77 and better 75 at the 38-yard line. You can see Bob Baumhauer, 73, right there in the middle, kind of shaking his head. No matter what we've done today, it has not worked. And uh, New Orleans is going to go to 3-2. and two. The Dolphins will be 3-2. and two. Next week, the Dolphins play Buffalo at the Orange Bowl. And the Saints are on the road at Atlanta. Third down and four. Wayne Wilson again. Not quite enough for the first down. He stopped at about 
the 37-yard line, upended by 59, Brzezinski and 40, Mike Kozlikowski. Or Kozlowski. Kozlowski, excuse me. 115 to play. 115 to play, and they're going to take a timeout, stopping the clock. That'll leave them with two timeouts remaining. I'll tell you what, Miami's problems may continue next week playing Buffalo. They face against a great running football team with Joe Cribb. Ten to play. Ten minutes to play in the fourth quarter. San Diego 34, the Giants 31. Here it's fourth and one, and they're going to keep the football and try to get it, and get it, they do. snap on this field goal and another miss. Once they got the snap right, George Rogers did not play. Wayne Wilson did. He rushed for his second straight 100-yard day, totaling 161, and set up this touchdown catch. Tyrone Young, his first catch as a pro. It was in the second quarter, and it made it 7-0. The University of Florida rookie free agent excited about it. Miami's injury-plagued offense sputtered. David Woodley was benched in the second quarter after hitting just four out of 12 passes here. He had the interception by Johnny Poe, who seems to be improving each week. It was seven to zip at the half. The Saints on top of the Miami Dolphins. And Stabler, who was like a surgeon, slicing up the league's top-rated defense, hooked up with uh, Kenny Duckett on this fine play as he outlays it uh, through the Miami secondary. And then that set up a 32-yard field goal for Martin Anderson and a 10-0 Saints advantage. The play of the day, though, was on defense when Dan Marino was in playing at quarterback. Hit and Reggie Lewis grabs the ball out of the air and races in from the 27 for a touchdown, and the dome kind of went crazy. Really, sort of the entire Saints team as Reggie runs around in the end zone holding the ball up, and the fans loved it. New Orleans had the only sack of the game, and this was a game that pitted the top two teams in the NFL as far as sacks go, and this was it on Dan Marino. Reggie Lewis again in on the play. Don Shula knew that his team was in for a rough afternoon, and by this time he figured that things were pretty much out of control for Miami. The Dolphins did score late when they took the ball downfield, and Dan Marino hit Mark Duper. He's a kid out of northwest Louisiana who comes off the bench, but it mattered little because the Saints win, and those are the numbers on their third win of the season. All have come, by the way, at home. It was a big win with big play. Free agent receiver Tyrone Young from the University of Florida took special pride in his.